Huge frontier models face a scaling limit while small on-device models start to emerge. Scaling up these enormous frontier models requires the model creators to build bigger and bigger data centers like XAI with their 100,000 GPUs and Meta that wants to expand with $10 billion worth of infrastructure. You got Microsoft who needs to power what they're doing by reopening a nuclear power plant at Three Mile Island. I've heard that OpenAI wants to do the same thing and have their own power plants because to deal with the scaling issue, they not only need compute power, they need enough electricity for it. These towering neural giants require ever greater resources, which is pushing innovators to make smaller, localized, more efficient models that can actually run on device. Artificial intelligence development is basically splitting off into these two different directions with making both much bigger and bigger models and smaller and smaller models. Even some of these big tech giants, Meta, Google, Microsoft, are making smaller and smaller AI models because they know they can't just keep scaling up and rely on data centers to do all the compute. And they're going to have to offload some for the devices, especially for smaller tasks. In this video, I'm going to show you ways that you can run open source local LLMs or AI chat models on your phone without connecting to the internet, fully private on device. I'm also gonna go over what models you can run that are efficient and I'll review some of the apps and show you examples of how these models run and how good they are. First up is LM Playground. It has 4.3 stars out of 80 reviews and over a thousand downloads. I'll go over the pros and cons now. The pros are that it's offline and private, has quick, easy access to download small models and has a nice selection list built in. It also has a clean interface. The cons, it can only be used for certain LLMs in the list and there's no chat history to go back and look at later. The test prompt I'll be using throughout this video to fairly compare all the models is, write a report about open source AI. Using Phi 3.5 Mini 3.8B, which is a model from Microsoft, it was pretty slow on my Galaxy Note 20 by Samsung, but that's not the fault of the app. It's just because you're running a model on this little CPU and a phone. It took one hour and 36 minutes at 0.181696 tokens per second to generate a report on open source AI. I also tested Quen 2.5 1.5B, which is made by Alibaba. The report was much faster at one minute and 46 seconds. That's 6.25494 tokens per second. So on 3.8 billion parameters, it was a lot slower than 1.5 billion parameters. And I mean a lot slower, like one of them took over an hour, the other one didn't even take two minutes. Next up is Private AI. It has 3.9 stars out of 211 reviews and over 10,000 downloads. It automatically downloads Gemma 2 2B when you first open the app, which is cool with me because I'm a Gemma fan. It can select from a big list of open source LLM, or you can add a GGUF file. It even has some uncensored models in the list. It has three modes, standard chat, act as for character card, and AI assistant mode. Act as can even double as a system prompt because you can use the character card if you flinagle it just the right way as a system prompt. It also has colored message bubbles to differentiate your message versus the response from the LLM. And it looks more like text messaging and I like that formatting. It also has a chat history. The cons are it does not show stats like tokens per second and some models with the pink band around it are for paid access only for $10. However, they did show value first before asking for money and you get more models for the money that you spend. And I also ran small LM2 1.7B, which generated the report in two minutes and 10 seconds. And this is just kind of running a stopwatch and not really being able to see exactly how many tokens per second. I came across this program when I was searching called LLM Suite, and it seems to be early access to one that's not out yet. And weirdly, it's made by JP Morgan Chase, the financial institution. I have no idea why some massive bank wants to run an LLM chat app for the phone that you can use for locally. I don't get it. Anyway, I didn't really use it because after I installed it, it required a JP Morgan Chase login. And who wants to do that? If you're a fan of Olama, like I am, you can actually run it from your phone using a terminal app called Termix that lets you enter Linux commands directly into the Android because the Android operating system is Linux based. For Olama, I'm testing a model called Tiny Llama. It's 1.1 billion parameters, and I have a separate video link in the description for how to install and run Olama on your Android phone. So far, my favorite program in this is Private AI, and my least favorite one is that JP Morgan shadiness. Let me know what you think in the comments, which one looks good to you. If you try them out and you find any features I didn't notice or have your opinion about it, you're welcome to post because this is kind of uncharted territory and it probably helped to have a discussion. 
For exclusive content where I expand the conversation out from here to other areas of AI, please give me a follow on X. I know that place is kind of a pit, but the AI community there is cool, I promise. If you found value in this video, please click the like button. It helps to push this in the algorithm to other people who are interested in open source AI. And if you're new to my channel and you're not familiar with me, I'm not a programmer and I don't do AI for a living. I believe in the power of open source technology and the influence it has on the world and how critical this discussion is. I regularly test different LLM technology as it comes out, and I also make tutorials about how to run open source AI tech on your Linux computer or in the cloud. If that's something that interests you, please click the subscribe button. You can also hit the notification bell if you want to be alerted when I make a new video. I hope to see you in the next one. Take care of yourself.